Question 4b. Outline seven ways through which God was going to punish Israel and other nations according to prophet Amos. So ways God was to punish Israel according to Amos. The first way was an enemy would destroy their defenses. Holy places would be destroyed. For example, the altars of Bethel. Another way that he would punish the Israelites is that God would send fire to burn their property. So I say an enemy will destroy their defenses. Also their altars, oh sorry, their holy places would be destroyed. He would send fire to burn their property. He would also punish them through drought and famine. Also, nagging women of Samaria would be dragged away. The rich would not enjoy their wealth because it was grabbed from the poor. So another way is that the rich would not enjoy their wealth. Just say that. But you also remember that it was grabbed from the what? The poor. That's why they, they were told that they would not enjoy their wealth. They would be killed or they would die. They would be taken to exile. They would be attacked. They will be destroyed by an earthquake. Question 4C. Identify evils which a modern prophet would condemn in our society. Corruption and bribery. And basically, corruption, I, so I told you, is misuse of public court funds. <coughs> Homosexuality. Modern prophets should also, would also condemn social injustices. For example... Injustices to AIDS victims, discrimination based on gender or tribe economic status. Also, I would condemn murder, abortion, theft. Land grabbing, oppression of the poor, false prophecy, like people are prophesying that the end of the world is coming, or idolatry. The people are saying end of the world would be year 2000. I don't know what happened. Idolatry, for example, devil worshipping, or necromancy. That is a consultation of diviner spirits and the dead. Can you wake up? It's 9.30, right? Even him, Brian, at the back. That's why you went to sit there. And I asked you, when you were there, you were sleeping. I was looking at you. Question five. I didn't. Mm -hmm. mm. 
at consecutive mediums is the same Necrom necromancy is you consult diviners mediums spirits of the dead see those people uh, diviners they see the dead mm, even there are modern ones which are being paid why are people being told that you asked what is your horoscope you start saying i was born on these days i'm aquarius and then you are told you read from the newspaper. That is necromancy. People don't even notice that. Thank you. Any other question? Question 5A. Identify five issues which made Jeremiah to lament. Issues which made Jeremiah lament is... Um, the wicked were prospering while the rushers were suffering. And this you can find in Jeremiah chapter 12 from verse 1 to 6. So those who are wicked prospered and the rushers, the rushers suffered. He also lamented why he was born to face trouble. born to face trouble he was hated by everybody and this you can find jeremiah chapter 15 from verse 10 to 21 he lamented he was unwell that is in his lamentation there he pleaded to be healed he was mocked by people This is Jeremiah chapter 17, verse 15. He was isolated. Chapter 15, verse 10. Question 5b. Which measures did Jeremiah take to redress the problems that he and his people faced during the rebuilding of the wall in the temple of Jerusalem? So the measures taken by Jeremiah to solve the problems, that is what you're being asked. He faced during um, here the rebuilding of the wall and the temple of Jerusalem. Number one, he ordered the sending away of foreign wives. Sending away of foreign wives. He also ordered for the reduction of debts of grain and silver. And this you can find in Nehemiah chapter 5 from verse 10 to 12. So reduction of debts of grain and silver. He also told people to work hard to reduce the problem of food shortage. So to work hard. He ordered the rich land grabbers to return the productive fields and vineyards. So the rich land grabbers to return the what? The fields. He ordered for the freeing of the sons and daughters who had been subjected to slavery. So here yeah, it's solving the problem he said freeing of sons and daughters. And these daughters were subjected to what? Slavery. He also reconsolidated the debtors. That is, he brought them together. He consolidated them. He prayed for his enemies. Question 5C. Outline possible ways which Christians can use to solve conflict in the society. So, ways Christians can use co to solve conflict. Number one, through prayers. To bring about proper understanding. Also, through guidance and counseling. So, guidance and counseling those who are involved in the conflict. Holding seminars. And these seminars are in order to listen to the views of each side. 
using biblical teachings and here you are using biblical teachings to correct the misunderstanding by setting good examples that is you by become role modeling to those affected you role model to them that is you set them good examples also preaching about peace and reconciliation to the affected parties writing literature materials on conflict management you write it and you distribute it the writing literature materials on conflict management you write and then you distribute to the people and then also you can solve a conflict by mass media for example tv video radio programs <laughs> 